what is what kind of coach are you? Are you the one that would like another week right before the end? Of the I'm ready to season? play. Ready to hit some <laughs> I can answer that easy. I'm ready to play, man. I'm tired of uh, practicing against the same guys. Um, we've had a great summer. Uh, we really have the competition level, uh, the intensity, mentality, uh, but it's time to play ball. What has it been like for you? I mean, bringing in so many new guys in your room to, to keep the room together and keep the previous guys. Yeah, not offended by new guys coming yeah. in, but then, you know, getting new guys up to speed. How you do that? Man, it's been fun. I mean, it's part of the process. It's part of the brotherhood. Uh, and, you know, to be honest with you, those guys have done all the work. You know, they've done a tremendous job of just bonding the culture. Uh, the, the new guys came in and it was a seamless transition. You know, they upped uh, the standard in the room. Uh, and it was really good to see. I mean, those guys are veterans and they fit with our culture. How much do you think the younger guys learn just from watching how the older guys operate? The oh, in? a ton, man, a ton. It's priceless. Uh, guys like Chance Fitzgerald, Marcel Baylor, uh, Takai Heath. I mean, those guys are doing everything they can to pick the, the older guy's brain. I mean, even Tucker Holloway and Gosnell. I mean, you know, it's, it's something to be said about when you bring guys in who have college repetition of playing and playing in games and being in the system for a long time. So uh, it's been really good for me. You didn't coach Alley at ODU been everything you expected absolutely absolutely without a doubt um, I think the thing he did the best was set the standard for what it means to be a college athlete uh, that's taking care of your body uh, that's being in the film room that's doing extra and you know by doing extra you don't have to go out here and just run wind sprints it can be catches on the jugs it can be more time you know learning the playbook and I think he you know and those other guys have really raised their standard of demands you know from the entire room a little bit different with you being a coach, but you played against the team that you left previously. Yeah. Do you give any advice to Ali about how to go up against uh, you know former teammates and stuff? Just like relax. That? Uh, just relax. Enjoy the moment. Uh, it's still football. Uh, the yardage is still the same. It's it's still the same goalposts. A touchdown is still six points. Uh, so you know that's been my advice to him. Just relax and be who you are. Uh, be you. We've heard a lot through fall camp about Steven Gosnell's consistency. What has he shown you? Just in fall camp, and how excited are you to now that he's fully healthy after last year to see him as well? I'm really excited. I, mean, I was excited about him last year, um, you know. So you know that hasn't changed. Uh, his consistency and being the same person every day uh, it means so much to this team, and it means so much just to this offense. Uh, you, when you know what to expect and you trust somebody, and he's going to be in the right spot, uh, the quarterbacks trust you. You know, I trust you, and that you know generally leads to uh, more playing time. What kind of strides have you seen from Aiden Green? I love Aiden, man. Aiden is uh, confident. Um, he's a little cocky. Uh, uh, he, he plays with a chip on his shoulder. Uh, but you can see the difference from him from spring to now. You know, that's the difference of a guy rolling early and getting an opportunity to have 15 practices, learning the offense and getting some bumps, getting some bruises, having some mistakes. Uh, now he's seeing a lot of success. Um, he's still got a long way to go, uh, but he's gained a lot of confidence. We don't see a ton of practice, but whenever we're out here, he, it seems like he's making a play. Yeah. Every time we're out here, you're saying he's cocky. Is it yeah. he's making plays? Yeah. Guys, or? I just think that's who he is. Uh, and that's, you know, one of the attributes that I love the most about him. And I think that's, you know, one, that's one characteristic that as a receiver, a really good receivers. That's something they all have in common. Uh, but he has a really natural skill set for catching the ball and making plays. Uh, we just got to get him holistically to understand the big picture. Uh, but he's really coming along. I assume since he's in the two deep, you have plans to play him this year. And just Absolutely. That's the plan. Okay. Yep, that's the plan. We've seen flashes from Xavion when we've been out here. What, yeah. is, what has he shown you? I see a smile on your face. About yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's probably the most dynamic guy we have on our team. Uh, the thing is, I'm continuing to work with Zay is just being consistent and being the same guy every day. Uh, but he flashes enough for you to really get excited about him. Uh, he, he can make the big play that a lot of guys in that room can't make. Coach probably said last week on TTL that Jalen Lane's probably the most underrated guy in that yeah. room. What about his versatility and what he can do? I feel like he might, might surprise some people. We can keep him underrated. It's OK. <laughs> um, he's quiet, man. He, uh, he has a really smooth demeanor about himself. He's a coach's kid. Um, you tell him once, once and he does it. You're super coachable. Uh, he's a leader, but he leads in a different way. Uh, he's kind of a behind the scenes leader. Uh, he'll kind of pull somebody aside and help him out. Uh, kind of my good cop, bad cop uh, that he plays with me. But uh, he, he's been tremendous, man. He's a really great addition to this team. What stood out to you about the DBs and just the defensive back room that you guys are going up against in practice? And what have you seen in terms of growth from that? Uh, iron sharpens iron. You know, I say that to those guys a lot. Uh, competition and intensity is all time high right now. 
Uh, I mean, those guys are standing out from Dorian Strong to Monsor to Canteen. Some of the younger guys getting in there, Dante, Penix, uh, Braylon. Uh, and they love football, man. They love football and they love to compete. And, you know, on both sides of the ball, those guys are getting better. Is there a particular DB that's given these guys a little bit more fits than the other ones? <laughs> they all have, uh, they all kind of have their one, but probably Dorian. Uh, he, he just so cerebral. Uh, he does a really good job with his feet and with his hands. And, uh, you know, he's he's the fastest and he has the most experience. Uh, so he probably stands out the most. Last year at the slot position, didn't have, like, the explosive plays weren't there, but you look back at Jalen Lane's tape against Miami specifically, I think he took a catch one yard past the line of scrimmage and went 83 and almost scored. Is that the type of play that he can make on a consistent basis? Most definitely. That's the type of play that I can't coach. Uh, that's why we got him here. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, have Thank you. Good luck this week.